And in 1957, four years after the structure was discerned, uh, Francis Crick put forward, uh, I think, what was one of the most important uh, hypotheses in the history of science. It's called the sequence hypothesis. And what Crick proposed was that these four chemicals that chemists re represent with the letters A, T, G, and C are actually functioning like alphabetic letters in a written text or like zeros and ones in a section of computer code. That is to say, it's not their chemical shape or structure that matters. What matters is the arrangement of those chemicals such that they are able to convey instructions for building all the important proteins and protein machines that keep cells alive. So what you have on the DNA molecule is literally digital code that is going to, that provides instructions for building the, the, the crucial parts of cells that allow all life to exist. When you go down that spine, how much information is there? Well, in the, in the human genome, there's about three billion nucleotides. And even on a single, in a single one-celled organism, there is enough information to build a, a minimally complex one-celled organism requires about 500, 400, or 500 proteins. And that's going to compute to several hundred thousand uh, what are called base pairs or individual nucleotide letters in, in, the, in that genetic message. That all have to be arranged precisely. They have to be arranged precisely so that the instruction set will direct the construction of these proteins, these various kinds of proteins that are needed to keep cells alive. And proteins are essentially the toolbox of the cell that uh, some of them process information, some of them build structural parts, little miniature machines. We're discovering inside cells there are literally little tiny machines. And there's a form of nanotechnology, sliding clamps and rotary engines and uh, robotic walking proteins. Um, and then some proteins catalyze reactions. These are the enzymes that we hear about. So proteins do all the jobs that keep cells alive and animals alive, but they are only, they can only be built if the instruction set is right and that instruction set is stored on DNA. Even Bill Gates, when he looked at this, what did he say? Well, Bill Gates has, has said that DNA is like a software program, only much more complex than any we've ever been able to create. And uh, many other, uh, many biologists have made similar uh, observations. Uh, uh, famed biotech uh, pioneer Leroy Hood has said very, very directly that DNA contains digital code.